Are you looking for the LG 40W P95 CW? In this video, we will look at some of the LG 40W P95 CW on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description, so make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. LG 40W P95 CW The best monitor with USB-C support that we've tested is the LG 40W P95 CW. It's a great office monitor with Thunderbolt 4 support on both of its USB-C ports. This lets you connect even power-hungry laptops and charge them while using them, thanks to its 96W of power delivery which is more than most monitors. You can also display an image using those ports, and because it has a picture-by-picture -picture mode, you can display images next to each other from two connected laptops, which helps with productivity. There are also two USB-A ports if you want to connect other peripherals like a mouse and keyboard. In terms of its overall performance, overall performance, it has a massive 40-inch screen, with a 5120x2160 resolution and a 21:9 ultrawide aspect ratio. It helps the monitor provide fantastic text clarity, and there's plenty of space to open multiple windows at once. It also has great picture quality, as it has a dedicated sRGB mode that results in excellent accuracy before calibration, which is ideal if your work requires accurate colors and it also displays a wide range of colors in SDR and HDR. DR. Number 3. Dell U2723 Key If you don't use a Macos device but still like the 27-inch screen of the Apple Studio display, you can save some money with a mid-range model like the Dell U2723 Key. With a lower 4K resolution, it's the best 4K USB-C monitor we've tested, and the text clarity is still fantastic. It has three USB-C ports. Unlike the Apple monitor, each serves a different purpose. One supports DisplayPort Alt mode with 90W of power delivery, which is the port you connect your laptop to if you want to display an image. Another USB-C slot is a downstream port with 15W of power delivery, so you can use it to charge your phone or other peripherals. The other USB-C port is an upstream port for the KVM switch, which allows you to connect multiple devices to your monitor and control them with a single keyboard and mouse. It's also excellent for photo editors, because it has a dedicated sRGB mode, so you won't need to calibrate colors. While the 27-inch screen is big enough for multitasking, the Dell U3223 QE is a similar model, with a 32-inch screen instead, but it costs a lot more. Number 2. Apple Studio Display While the LG 40WP95 CW works without issue with Macos devices, if you have a Mac computer and want a monitor to complement it, consider the Apple Studio Display. It has a smaller screen than the LG, so you don't get as much screen space, but it has a higher 5120x2880 resolution for sharper text. It has features you can only get using a Macos device, like its sRGB mode with remarkable accuracy, meaning you get accurate and lifelike images that are ideal if you're a photo or video editor. It also has excellent peak brightness, meaning you won't have any issues using it in a well-lit room. In terms of its USB-C inputs, it has one that supports Thunderbolt 3 with 96W of power delivery, which is enough to charge your MacBook while working. This port also serves as the video port, so you just need to connect your Mac directly to the monitor with that. It has three other USB-C ports, but those are only for charging other devices, as you those are only for charging other devices, as you can't display an image from them, which is disappointing because you can't view two video sources at the same time like on the LG. LG. Number 4. Dell S2722 QC If you don't need all the extra features of the Dell U2723 QE, you can save some money with a lower mid-range option in the Dell S2722 QC. As it's a lower-end monitor than the U2723 QE, it has fewer features like a smaller USB hub, so instead of the five USB-A ports and three USB-C ports that the U2723QE has, it has two USB-A ports and a single USB-C port. Luckily, its single USB-C port supports DisplayPort Alt mode and power delivery of up to 65W, which is less than the 90W on the U2723QE, but is still enough to keep your laptop's battery going while using it. It performs well in bright rooms, as it has better reflection handling than the U2723QE and is bright enough to overcome glare. It has wide viewing it has wide viewing angles and greater ergonomics, 
so you can easily adjust the screen to an ideal viewing position and show content to someone next to you, as they'll see the same image from the sides. While it doesn't have an sRGB mode like the U2723QE and isn't as good for photo editing, the accuracy before calibration is decent enough for everyday work. Day work. Number 5. Asus Part Display PA278CV While low-cost USB-C monitors can be hard to find, you can get some with the same features as higher-end models. The Asus Part Display PA278CV is a great office monitor that costs less than the Dell S2722 QC. The main trade-off is that it has a lower 1440p resolution. This means that text isn't as sharp, but the overall text clarity is still decent. Luckily, its USB-C port supports DisplayPort Alt Mode and 65W of power delivery, so you can easily connect a laptop to display an image and charge it using a single cable. Despite its low cost, it still has a few extra features, like its outstanding ergonomics that make it easy to adjust, as well as a dedicated sRGB mode. This results in exceptional accuracy before calibration, as colors are accurate, and you won't notice any issues. Unfortunately, it doesn't support AIN if you work in an HDR color space. If that's important to you, the Gigabyte M27Q is another budget option, but its USB-C port is limited to 10W of power delivery, which isn't enough to charge most.